As you might have guessed by now, yeah, I'm not straight. Is this nope. loud enough? Buddy! Have fun, alright. I mean, talk about fantastic. I'm wearing the socks, the hat, the bow tie. Hello! Look at that guac. Hey, it's Motai, and before I start this video, I want to credit my youngest sister for creating the subtitles for my last video, as well as any videos that she can do in the future. Thanks, Dilly. Just a friendly reminder to click that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell so you can get a free taco. You clicked it? Awesome sauce. As promised. Also, if you like this video, then let me know by clicking the button below and sharing it with your friends. I blew my nose in aggression before starting this video, and this ear popped and I can actually breathe through my nose a little bit, and like, I still have a cough, but like, man, I'm quite happy. It's a Saturday. All right, so today I'm gonna be talking about the way I feel and my experience with being bisexual. Disclaimer, I actually identify as biromantic, demi slash gray asexual, but I'll get into that later. Now for starters, I was never really certain with my sexuality when I was younger. I had instances where I felt some form of attraction to the same sex. Granted, my first relationship was in my second year. More on that in the card. But I still felt something that I was raised to believe was wrong. I grew up in constant doubt of my feelings towards guys. Girls I had no trouble liking and telling my friends about who I liked. With guys, I felt even ashamed to admit to myself that I might like them even more than just friends. I didn't experiment, talk about, or really anything for my attraction towards guys. I thought that if I did, I would get in trouble, punished, or something bad would happen. I didn't want that, so I stayed quiet. Although on a level I couldn't see at the time, the gay side of me was present. Now I say gay side just for emphasis. Don't take that to heart like there's a choice I make every day on how gay or straight I want to be that day. That's not the case. Almost the entire time I was in high school, I was constantly confused. And not just about my sexuality, I was just constantly confused. That's where I was first introduced to the term bisexual or someone who even talked about liking the same gender. It was the first proper step I took into figuring out my sexuality. That's okay if you don't know your own sexuality right now. Don't feel the need to label yourself for anyone. I only did to see if it was the right fit for me. That and I was obsessed with labeling and fitting myself into the right spot. Not everyone is a perfect little cookie cutter mold that bakes into the perfect cookie. There's more than just cookies. You can have cakes, pies, cupcakes, rolls, donuts. Mm. My point still stands, you can have your cake and eat it too. There's no one size fits all or most, that's just what people want to think. If you're eating a chocolate cake and someone tells you that chocolate cake is bad and disgusting, are you gonna stop eating that cake? No, you're gonna shove the rest of that cake in your face and give them the middle finger. Kidding! Oh, OMG, I'm so hungry. I think I'm gonna get Taco Bell after this. Hey companions, yeah, I'm editing and uh, I ended up getting Taco Bell. I didn't plan it by the way, I was not planning on actually going there. Actually, I kinda was. I was gonna stop editing and then go to Taco Bell by myself, but then my mom pulled up, and she's like, hey, you want Taco Bell? And I'm like, well, you know me. <clears throat> so yeah, just thought I'd let you know. Enjoy the rest of the video. Anyway, the first time I came out was to my first group of friends. They were really happy that I came out and helped me through my first awkward crush on a guy. Embarrassing story for another day. There were many times that I changed my label and tried to figure out what my true emotions and feelings were. I wasn't ever fully comfortable with the label that I had placed on myself. I went from bisexual to gay to straight to just plain all done with people. It took some time before I settled on one and stuck with it. By my senior year, if anyone had asked me about my sexuality, I would respond with bisexual. Although that's still true today, I've specified it to biromantic demisexual slash gray asexual. And some common thing questions I get asked a lot are, what's that? Normally I tell them to Google it, or I'd say I would date both guys and girls, but I don't really have a sexual connection with someone unless there's a strong emotional and romantic connection in a serious relationship. Oh, so you're gay. No, just because I like girls and guys does not mean that I'm exclusive to just one of the two. It's called bi for a reason. Bicycle, bisexual, bipolar. A personal favorite of mine. You're just confused. Oh, it's probably just a phase. Oh, so you're straight. Well, how do you know it's not just a phase? You aren't me, so you can't judge my feelings and emotions. You should just choose one and stick to it. Oh yeah, well you should just shut up and stop telling me how to live my life. Cause that's not even how this works. I haven't been asked this one, but I know people do get asked. Wanna sleep with me and my partner? Hell no I don't! Please refer to demisexual and monogamy. All I'm trying to say here is if someone's trying to tell you about their sexual preference, take the time to listen to what they have to say. Don't judge them or argue with their emotions. It takes a lot of courage to come out because of the fear of rejection and abandonment. I know there are so many people locked in the closet. And if you're scared to come out or even feel pressured to know what your sexuality is, let me tell you this, you don't need to. It's your life. It's your own journey of self-discovery. For some, the path is short. Others, longer. But never think that you need to know the answer right now. One more thing, only come out to someone you feel comfortable coming out to. Whether that's a close friend or relative or the Taco Bell drive through employee, just make sure that you're not jeopardizing your safety because that's the last thing I want is for you to be in danger. All right, companions, my question for you if you feel comfortable answering is what is your sexuality? If you don't feel comfortable outing yourself, that's okay. But what would you like to see more of on this channel? Let me know down in the comment section below. But that's all for today's video. I hope you guys found it educational or at least the slightest bit helpful. If so, give this video a like. And I always forget to mention this, but... 
If you haven't had the pleasure to check out my Patreon, now is the perfect time to do so. If you like my videos and can support me a little extra by donating a dollar or more a month, that would be fan frickin tastic You can get special rewards if you choose to donate, like watching bloopers, being featured in one of my videos, or choosing what video I'd do next. If you count, however, you're still able to get all the normal content, like usual, and be just as cool. But let's get back on into the video. I'd love to have you back here, so click here to become an opinion, and the Taco Bell so you can stay updated on the newest content I have to offer. Click here to watch my latest video, or listen to my original, The Sexuality Song. My social medias are over there, and all of the links are in the description below. But that's all, so have a fan freaking tastic day, and stay cool, companions. Oh,